be shut you lord ye my matsai is a kai ta kwene ne gai pe a ne gai mani ye my matsai ye shiru koi my matsai ne watsi You Lord, ye my Messiah, ye Zachah. Be shut, you Lord, ye my Messiah. Ne kahur kamawa ne wane ne nani takwai Lord. He my Messiah, Jai Shri Ramu, Koi my Messiah, Ne Wati Jokano Kwai, Bisha You Lord, He my Messiah, He Taka. Precious Lord, take my hand, lead me on, let me stand. I am weak, I am tired, I am worn. Through the night, take my hand, lead me on. Let me stand. Take my hand, precious Lord. Lead me on. Be shut, you Lord. He my matai ne wati jokano kwai ne kai pua. Ne gai mani hi mai matai Jai Shri Ramu koi mai matai Ne wati to kano kwai Be shut you Lord hi mai matai hi zaka Thank you Jesus so many people are going through hard times right now. They've lost loved ones. And it's so hard. It's so hard. I've been there. Especially especially when you lose children, your spouse, your somebody you've been around all the time. When you're so close, that bond is so strong. And the darkness comes and it's like the darkness is going to swallow you up but you fight the good fight of faith you stand on the word of god that's how i got through it when i lost my two children i stood on the word of god and i listened to it at night it's a fight of faith i tell you it's a fight of faith and i watched a uh, ministry uh worship during the day and i'd be crying as i'm worshiping and because i want to get out of this darkness i want to get out of this hole that the old devils put me in and the spirit of grief i command you to go right now spirit of grief you leave every single person right now in the name of jesus you're trying to hang on to some people i said lose them right now that evil spirit it's different than just grieving. It's a spirit that's going to try to take you down and destroy you, but God won't let it. God won't let them if we take a stand in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I know what you're going through. I know it. You can't say to me, you don't know what I'm going through. I do. I do. And then two, six months after my youngest daughter was killed, my stepson 
who was just the nicest person in the world, was murdered also by a policeman in Hawaii. And so I know. Then I went with my husband who went into depression also. But I refused. I stood on God's word. I stood. I fought that fight of faith. I, I'm a fighter. I am a fighter from the day I was born. I was a fighter and I am a fighter. And I'll always be a fighter. But I'm a fighter in the spirit realm now. I fight powers of darkness and demon forces that we can't see, that you can't see with a natural eye. Some people are able to see it, see them, but I fight them in the nat in the spirit realm, and we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. Hallelujah. So be encouraged today. Be encouraged, my friend, my sister, my brother, my family, my community member, my Facebook family, my Facebook friend. Be encouraged in the Lord, in the power of his might. It Death is, you know, death is inevitable. We're going to all go. But some are leaving too early. Some people, like my children and other youth, young, young people, went too early. They went before their time because the enemy stole them. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But you will get it, my, you will get through it. I mean, you will get through it. You will get through it. You will get through it. I know what I'm saying. And I will be praying for you. Hallelujah. When I, as soon as I hear somebody's going through a powers of darkness, that death, to spirit, depression, oppression, those are spirits. We can pray off of people. We can command them to go. Even before I knew the Lord, my parents, my dad taught me that. He was our teacher in our family. My mom just backed him up. And he and he would say, if an animal talks to you, you tell it to go away. Get out. The animals don't talk. And I, when I found the Lord, I found out there was demonic spirits. Well, we can command them to go. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, be encouraged. And I speak peace on you. I bind every tormenting spirit. Every foul, evil spirit of witchcraft, voodoo, sorcery, black magic, mind control, powers of suggestion. I break every curse in the name of Jesus. I destroy them. I destroy every spirit, every witchcraft spirit, every word that's being spoken against you. I destroy them right now in the name of Jesus. And I command them to loose, loose and go to the dry places by the blood of the lamb, by the blood of the lamb. Hallelujah. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. I bind the spirit of trauma. I bind the spirit of trauma of when you were traumatized as a little child. I command that trauma to leave your cells, your DNA. I command it to go. The memory. I command all trauma in your memory to die and be destroyed. Every trauma memory. I said loose and go in Jesus name. Be still and know that he is God. He loves you and he cares for you. He's an omnipotent God. You are not going to find him. He's every place. He's every place. He's every place. He's in your heart. But if you're looking, looking here and looking there, look within yourself. Ask him to come into your heart and be real to you. He will. Jesus loves you so much. He loves you and he doesn't want you to be hurting Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And some people might say, well, why, if God is real, why didn't he stop this from happening? Why? No, because you know what? The devil's in charge of this world. That's why everything's going wrong. God came and he gave us power. But if we don't pray and we, if we don't do our part, then that crazy devil is going and doing whatever he wants on this world. And we're just arguing over little things and nothings. But it's time to buckle up your bootstraps and pray. Get in that spirit realm. Get in that spirit realm. That's how my mother and my grandmother Julia and Joe Sam, they got into that spirit realm. And they tore down the works of the evil one. And they brought my dad back from losing his mind. They brought him back. He was already going over the mountain. He was already going. He was already going. He had lost his mind. But they, he said, he only heard Joe Sam singing. Only his. Is there a reason for that? Because he was in the spirit realm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, I had just shunned on a Korean day. Get serious. Get serious. No more pampering. No more just, you know, 
you know, get serious about the spirit realm. It's real. Our ancestors knew about these things. They knew they got into the spirit realm. There was a reason they danced. It was powerful. It was not to go win a hundred dollars or a thousand dollars. They knew what they were doing when they rejoiced and danced. They knew what powers of darkness they were tearing down. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Well, you have an awesome day. This day today is my birthday. I'm 73 years old. And I have a right to say what I want on my Facebook. This is my Facebook. And if it bothers you, bye-bye. I don't care. Now you say, oh, you're a Christian. You're not supposed to talk like that. Oh, yes, I know what I'm talking about. I've lived this long life now. Mm -mm. I put up with so much junk as a young person. People just doing, manipulating and doing the evil stuff. Domestic violence, abusing children, molesting children. Yuck! Yuck! How could you do that? How could you call yourself a Christian and molest children? Oh, God, Lord, have mercy on us. We're not hiding from God. He sees everything. Hallelujah. He sees me right here in this little apartment by myself. He's right here with me. He knows what I'm doing here every day. I can't say, oh, I'm doing this to put on Facebook. I'm doing this. I'm doing that like I'm just somebody. He knows what I'm really doing. That's why I fear God and I put what's in my heart. Yeah, I'm past that. I'm not a baby anymore. I don't fool God. Nobody fools God. He sees us. And I want the best for my family and everybody. I speak truth to my family. Hallelujah. And I keep my mouth zipped a lot of times because you're not somebody if you go around raging and ramping about what you believe in everything. You know what I mean? I mean, listen to me, but I'm doing it right now. But yeah, because God is real to me. And he's done so much for me and he's got me through. I can't wait to be 74, 75. I can't wait to be 80. Hallelujah. It's not old. It's in your heart. Your age is in your heart. How do you feel? Take care of yourself. Be healthy. Think right thoughts. Forgive. Let things go. Let things go. Because if you don't forgive, you're just going to become ugly and hateful and mean and yuck. Nobody's going to want to be around you. You're going to be talking bad about people. Just let things go. Let, things, let go and let God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I could just go on and on, but I'm going to let... Whew, my grandson sent me some money, so I'm ordering me pizza. I love my grandchildren. Love you guys. God bless you. Bye-bye.